Um, I'm Diane Chilmaid, I'm the Business Support Manager for Kent Libraries and Archives and as part of my role I have responsibility for volunteering within the uh, Library and Archives Service and I manage the contract with CSV Community Service Volunteers who help us to provide um, the volunteer development programme and they provide us with a member of staff who uh, manages all the volunteering activities that we carry out under the Time to Give project throughout the county. And the range of activities is very wide from the traditional home library service volunteers um, but using this project we've developed volunteering activities much wider than this. So for example um, in relation to family and lifelong learning volunteering we have volunteers who support us with our baby bounce and rhyme, our toddler time and our story times. My name's Marion and uh, I work for CSV. Um, I really enjoy doing baby rhyme time. I've been doing it now for four years and I really enjoy coming to work and seeing all the children because after about a year they actually know the lines, they actually join in, it's just really exciting. Sam, this is Caitlin, um, it's been really good to relearn all the old songs that we used to when we were younger and she really enjoys it. The volunteers allow us to extend the number of activities we can uh, run for young people, they help us provide refreshments and support and they allow our staff more free time to be able to have discussions with the carers about reading needs, about family literacy and so on. Um, we also have um, IT volunteers who we either call computer bodies or web wizards, uh, the title is entirely up to the volunteer. And um, again, this morning at Maidstone, we saw Aaron, uh, who is a visually impaired volunteer, who was having his induction. My name is Aaron Ross. Um, I'm interested in doing volunteering because I use computers regularly on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I've got a lot of skills in computer usage, and I think it'll be handy to pass it on to other people so they can be competent at using the computers as well. It's a really good scheme because there are, obviously, nowadays with the IT, um, world and that you know you do need to be able to use the computers um, you know you need to be semi competent on them to be able to do most things nowadays so you know it helps the public out as well so it's a really good system um, at Sittingbourne Library we have a courtyard garden which I'm sure the staff will agree with me didn't used to be um, in great shape and we have a, a, a number of people who act as gardening volunteers. Uh, Morfed, who is our gardening volunteer at uh, Sittingbourne, has won two Sittingbourne um, in bloom competitions for the library courtyard garden. People enjoy coming to sit in the garden during the summer months when it can get quite hot, but um, you know, early morning and things, they come out and perhaps bring a coffee that the library they can get in the library. They can bring a magazine and have five minutes quiet out here, you know, quite a lot of people appreciate that. It's not about job substitution, it's not about taking jobs away from our staff, this is about adding value for our customers to the services we provide and also having a group of people we can call on who will give us their response and their opinions about the library service and the archive service which really help us develop our future services.